So looking at the triad body bag as a striking puzzle, it allows us to go through and work things like our four corner stop condition goals for blocking, for coming up, down, up, down, right? Uh, whether you're looking at your three star, your four corners, some guys will look at you know going through and strengthening the bridge. So they'll come through and they'll hit off this type of emotion so they can go through and they can get that. When we look at parts like Lama Pai, we look at parts like Choi Foot, even Hungar, Hunga, we wind up seeing these windmilling types of shots, these big sweeping shots. So if we're looking at like a gloss hour, a sweeping back fist, we can go through and hit that. Right? Sometimes when we wind up hitting that gloss out, the distance changes, so then we wind up kind of connecting on the forearm. So if we can go through and get that conditioning in there. We may look at something like a dap choy where we're more of a hammer fist and this is coming through, and we might want to go through and look at conditioning the forearm that way so we're getting used to that. Uh, we see these closed lining style strikes, sometimes called a sao choy. So we're going to bring this over, and that's hitting with this kind of wrist bone on the inside like you're checking the time. So it allows us to go through and get these full power shots and get that conditioning to build up over time. Using the rights, using the chickpeas, using that medium, it sucks a lot of the shock up. So we're not going through and shaking the shit right out of the house. I'm actually in an apartment or a condo right now and my neighbors can't even hear it. So there's some real big advantages to that. And with that thinner cross section, we're able to go through and cut the bag a bit, which is really nice. Some of the many options.